it's time to get real honest about what it's like to live in Leesburg, Virginia. I'm gonna put it all out on the table so that you can decide if the negatives are something you can handle or not as you consider moving to the Leesburg, Virginia area. We're gonna talk about schools, we're gonna talk about development, we're gonna talk about weather, we're gonna talk about traffic. We gotta talk about a lot of things, 10 things as a matter of fact. So let's get at that right now. Hey friends, what's up? Maggie Hatfield here, broker owner with 15 West Homes, serving the Northern Virginia area and living right here in Leesburg, Virginia. If this is your first time to our channel, please make sure you tap that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you can be notified every time we do a new video. We get so many calls, emails, texts about what it's like to live in Leesburg as well as the Northern Virginia area. And we love talking about it. We love helping people find what they want based on their needs. So if you're even thinking about moving to the Northern Virginia and specifically Leesburg area, please feel free to reach out. Call us, text us, email us, snail mail us, whatever works for you, days, nights, weekends, we are here and we have your back when it comes to moving to Leesburg, Virginia. I am not trying to paint Leesburg in a negative light, far from it. I've been here 25 years, but I am going to bring up some things that may not be positives so that you can consider them as you consider your move to the area. Like I said, I've lived here a long time and most of the things that I'm gonna talk about, I've just learned to live with, but that doesn't mean they're not important. So we're gonna talk about them right now. Number 10, development. Yep, it seems like almost every green space available in Leesburg is being developed whether it's for housing, commercial buildings, or even most recently, data centers, unfortunately, we have a limited amount of green space left because Leesburg has grown so quickly and there are so many people who wanna live here. And that's kind of a bummer because without green space, you don't have animals, you don't have places to walk and things like that. And even more kind of a bummer is that the data centers are, in my opinion, a little bit of an eyesore but they do provide good tax revenue to Leesburg. So that means less payment from us on our taxes, which is good. That said, we do protect our parks, our walking trails and other green space areas so that we do have some spaces that cannot be developed that we can go to and enjoy. Plus, there are a lot of single family home developments that have larger lots. So you don't feel like you're sitting on top of your neighbors and you can enjoy some green space of your own. Number nine, traffic and this goes for pretty much anywhere in the dc metro area but i'm going to talk about three pinch points specific to leesburg virginia and some of them i already addressed on my pros and cons video so the first pinch point i'm going to talk about is route 15 especially as you're going north towards maryland it is a one lane highway each way so if there's an accident you're not moving if there's people are going to the beach that direction that's the only way to go on friday afternoons it's a very, very slow trek if you're living off that road going north. And there's a lot of wineries and breweries on that road, as well as retail shops. So it tends to get congested when people try to turn off of that main road onto the property that they're going to. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Additionally, there is a traffic mitigation plan that has been approved, but it's gonna take a little bit for it to actually happen. So, you know, you're gonna have to deal with that traffic probably for a few more years before you start seeing any kind of change in the congestion. The second pinch point is Route 7 West. So 15 North goes North South, seven goes East West. And so for those that use Route 7 to commute both East or West, it tends to get congested, of course, during the main commute time. So you need to be aware that when you're leaving from work to come home or to home, from home to go to work, you're gonna to have to deal with some additional traffic congestion there. In addition, Route 7 tends to get congested as you come to the downtown Leesburg area, especially when there are events in downtown Leesburg. Like for example, we have a first Friday, so the first Friday of every month, shops stay open late, traffic gets, you know, the streets get shut down, so you can't drive through the downtown area, so you have to go around. So that does create some congestion. 
So you just need to know whenever they shut down the downtown area or whenever there's an event, you just need to have a proper detour to get around that and not be bothered. Number eight, schools. The schools in Leesburg are not ranked as high as some of the schools in the surrounding cities of Northern Virginia. That said, a lot of people who choose to do their research online are directed to websites that have some kind of random algorithmic ranking. I don't even know what the variables are that go into that. So rather than looking at a site like greatschools.org, I direct my clients to a school profile ranking on the state of Virginia's website and the URL is right down there. So if you wanna check that out so that you can just get some more concrete data about the schools and how they rank among the other schools in the Northern Virginia area. That said, over the course of the 25 years that I've been here, we've had several additional high schools built, middle schools and elementary schools. So people are moving here and the public school system is working for people. So I, I think that you just need to know that that's the case and do your own homework. In addition, there are private schools if you want your kids to go through the private school system. There are some really good private schools if you can't get past the public school ranking issue. I do wanna point out though that I raised my kids here and they both went through the public school system and have great prospects for not only after college, because one's just finishing up, but post-college, which one is in and working for a really good cybersecurity startup. So my kids did fine. Just putting it out there for you to consider. Number seven could be a pro or a con, depending on the day and depending on you, your personal preferences. But we have a lot of breweries, wineries, and distilleries here in the Leesburg, Virginia area. No joke, there are about five of them within a one mile radius of my home, which is good for those days when it's beautiful outside and you wanna go hang with your friends and have a couple adult beverages, but it can be bad because it adds to traffic and there is noise associated with those venues, whether it's a live band or just people. So if you live close to them, that may get on your nerves, especially if you're trying to like put a kid down to a nap or maybe it's getting late and you just wanna relax. So something to keep in mind. Item number six, the lack of public transportation out in the Leesburg, Virginia area. So if you wanna get to the DC metro area or in DC proper, you only have a few choices on public transportation options. One is the newly opened Metro line in Ashburn, which is about 20 minutes away from Leesburg. And then the other one is a commuter bus where you can go park in a commuter lot, get picked up by a bus and have that take you to DC. Um, either way, it's a long way to DC. And even if you drove yourself, because you can never predict the traffic patterns here, you're probably looking at a one and a half hour at best kind of drive from Leesburg to the DC area. Number five is we have a couple airports that are close to us. One is Dulles International Airport, which is about 30 minutes away. So planes will fly over this area often. So if that's something you don't like, that's something to consider. We are not in a noise zone where we have to disclose to people who are buying here. We're not you know, that noisy. Um, but we also do have a local Leesburg Airport that flies private jets or smaller jets and again, they'll, they will pass over the area as well. So just something to consider if you don't like the noise from planes. I have planes flying over my house all day long and frankly, I don't even notice it anymore. Number four is local job opportunities. Most of the bigger companies and bigger job opportunities are closer into DC. So that means there's gonna be a little bit of a commute for you. Locally, we have a lot of small businesses and we have government and some education, but if you're looking to be with a big brand like a Cap One or a Raytheon or Accenture, you're looking to commute closer in to DC if not into DC proper. That said, because a lot of companies have gone hybrid, meaning you can work from home some days and not be in the office every day, it makes it a little bit easier for people to wanna to move out here. And in fact, we've seen a lot of surge and people moving out west because of the fact that they can work from home a few days a week and not have to deal with the commute into the DC area every day because that can be stressful and grueling to be sure. Number three is allergies. Okay, gonna be real here. When I moved here 25 years ago from Ohio, I did not have any seasonal allergies or any kind of allergies whatsoever. But as soon as I moved to this area, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's more pollen 
because it stays greener longer. But man, in the spring, in the fall, my allergies are terrible. So just be aware, it may not affect you, but it is something that people do talk about and maybe even complain about a little bit um, when it gets to be the springtime or the fall. Um, those are when you're gonna feel the allergies most. Okay, item number two, we're getting close to the end. Crazy weather, and I talked about this in my pros and cons video, but legit, man. Weather in the spring and the fall can be crazy. And even sometimes in the summer and the winter, you're gonna get 70 degree days in the winter. Right now, I think our temperature, it's June 9th. Um, it's in the low 60s. So it's kind of cold for this time of year. So you just never know. And of course, climate change does contribute to that. But it really is something that you need to be aware of because one day could start at 30 degrees and end at 80 degrees. So again, layering, wearing a lot of layers is important and just understanding the weather forecast is one of the first things I do in the morning is look at the weather just to see what I'm gonna be dealing with that day. That said, I will also let you know that August is hot. So very hot, very humid. So if that's something that you don't like, cause I personally don't like it, you just learn to stay inside more than you go outside. Okay, I have saved probably the not so good one for last, which is the cost of housing here. And of course there's a pro and con to this whole topic. One is it makes it hard to find a home if you're a first time home buyer um, that you can afford. But on the flip side of that, if you do own a home here, your values hold. In addition to that, we are the richest county in the United States. So, in terms of household income. So that is something to consider and that is also what's driving the price points up. In addition to that, we have a lot of turnover. We're a very transient area because of the industries we serve being consulting, government and education. So we see a lot of people moving in and out of the area, which again, continues to drive demand and drive the prices up. There you have it, 10 things you need to know before moving to the area or 10 things you need to consider before deciding to move to the area. And as I've said before, I've lived here 25 years and managed to deal with the, the issues that I brought up. So I guess they can't be that bad. The most important part that you need to know is where you wanna live and we can help you with that. So all we need to do is hear from you, learn a little bit more about what you're looking for, who you're trying to solve for, what areas you're considering and what goals you have and price points and timing and all that good stuff. And then we can help you find the right home for you, but you need to reach out. So please give us a call, text us, email us anytime, days, weekends, nights, mornings, we're around and we wanna help you find the perfect home for you in the Leesburg, Virginia area, but also in the Northern Virginia area. 